Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome to the Potter Collector Channel, where we are a community of collectors. Today we are opening up the next Wizarding Trunk box. This is their high security vault or special edition box or their quarterly box. The Wizarding Trunk has two subscription options, either a bi-monthly subscription or their Owlry box or the high security vault, which is quarterly. And the theme of this box has been very highly anticipated. It's all about magical travel. But before we open up this box, you may have noticed that oh, Peter's not using the same wand as he normally uses in his videos at the beginning of his videos. Spoiler alert. If you have ordered the Keep Collecting box, which is a collaboration between myself and the Wizarding Trunk, we are revealing the wand that is going to be in that box. This is our third Keep Collecting box. Not this one right here, but the box that's gonna be released in November, mid-November. Check the description down below for a link to the announcement video of the third box, which will give you information about the theme, ship date, price, all of that information. And also check the description down below for a link to order the Keep Collecting box, which is the only way you're gonna be able to purchase this wand. So spoiler alert, if you don't wanna see it, if you wanna be surprised, I mean, you kind of already saw it, but just don't go to the beginning of the video and like take a good look at it. So if you don't wanna see it, skip ahead a little bit. We won't spend too much time on it. The theme of the third Keep Collecting box is magical clubs and after school activities. Well, there's a magical club called the Dueling Club. I would like to officially introduce to you the Dueling Club wand. This thing was so much fun to design. I'm not gonna tell you a ton about the wand in this video. That's gonna be saved for the unboxing of the third Keep Collecting Box, which will be sometime in November. But here it is. We've got a square handle. All four sides show the moon phases, just like the stage that you duel on. And then we have stars going up the entire shaft of the wand. Now what's cool about these stars is they're twofold. They are dueling club stars, but they are also a nod to chapter stars. I love how the square handle just seamlessly transitions into the rest of the wand. So again, the only place you'll be able to purchase the Dueling Club wand is in that third Keep Collecting box. Again, check the description down below. Get your orders in before we sell out and before we ship. All right, let's open up this thing. Actually, let's first look at the box because the box is always beautiful. So on the trunk, it looks like there are a bunch of just stamps of different locations, which is very fun. Magical travel, the side says fragile or fragile magical delivery. Beautifully designed. All right, let's open this thing up. Let us journey through the magical world. All right, first item we have, all right, I see like the Bobaton's carriage, Sirius's motorbike, and the Ford Anglia. These are like little hanging things. Oh, are these air fresheners? These might be car air fresheners. All right, we gotta open this up. They are. They're car air fresheners. How clever. Oh my goodness. They smell good too. It smells very, there's like a, it's not, it's fruity, but it's not really citrusy. It smells nice. Ooh, this one smells different. It's really hard to determine what the smell is. All right, what does the Ford Anglia smell like? Ooh, this smells like cologne. So here are the three that you receive. The Bobaton's carriage with the winged horses. Sirius's motorbike, as well as the Ford Anglia. And then just hang them on your rear view mirror. Really cool idea. You know, this is just adding some magic to your travel, magical travel. All right, this box is packed to the brim. We've got a t-shirt. Let's see what this is all about. Really nice and soft. I wanna mention there's gonna be a t-shirt in the Keep Collecting box. And oh man, am I excited to wear that all the time. But this one, Clean Sweep Broom Shop. Oh, this is fun. Practical brooms, racing brooms, broom oil, flying ointments, broom repair, and more. That is cool. Check out this t-shirt. I'm not so sure about the color, but that said, I do like the shirt color with the artwork. It almost feels like colors you wouldn't put together, but they kind of work. They're like whimsical together almost, the white and the green and the, the tan. Let's magically change into this thing. Okay, this, this shirt is quality. This is some nice material. It has some stretch to it, which is really nice. 
and it feels silky smooth. Oh my goodness, it's so smooth. This shirt is great. And it's Wizarding Trunk branded, which is very cool. Here is the front of the shirt and the back. Yeah, I wasn't so sure about the shirt color, but I think I might like it. And the whole theme, fantastic. All right, let's take a look at what's next. We've got a potion or potion ingredients. Ooh, it's tea. Oh, cool. Okay, so this is a potion ingredient slash tea. Maybe there's another potion in here, or maybe this is like their potion. Bitter root bloom, brew to reduce nausea and motion sickness. Ooh, it smells very nice. The tea is chamomile, peppermint leaves, lemongrass, orange peel, hibiscus, cornflower, and marigold petals. Look at that tea. That's really, really nice. I love that label, looks fantastic. You could use this as a potion ingredient on your potion shelf if you don't wanna use it or if you don't like tea, or you can use this bottle and refill it with something else after you've used the tea. So multi-purpose, multi-use here, very, very cool. All right, we have a box with some butterflies on it. Follow the butterflies. That's what I'm like thinking right now. Follow the butterflies. So, is this gonna have something to do with the Forbidden Forest or the Fort Anglia? Follow the butterflies. No, something totally different. Nothing to do with following the butterflies. It does have to do with the Bobaton students and their magical releasing of butterflies as they dance into the Great Hall. So we have a snow globe, and it's smaller than the Wizarding Trunk's normal snow globes, but on the inside is the Bobaton's carriage. The thing I love about the Wizarding Trunk snow globes is you're not gonna get a cheap plastic globe. It's going to be glass. It's going to be breakable if you drop it, but that's quality in my opinion. You know, they didn't, they didn't cheap out and just use a plastic snow globe to save a couple bucks. Fun addition to the Wizarding Trunks snow globe collection or series. Yeah, I definitely got the uh, butterfly reference incorrect. All right, what's next? We have a brown box and I think there's styrofoam in here, which means there's something fragile. And what could that fragile item be? Like a shop sign, maybe? I think it's like a shop sign of some kind. I'm gonna show you guys first. And it is, remember, speak clearly. So this is a reference to flu powder. We've got some green flame on there. And I have to be honest, I don't know like what this is, if it's just supposed to be like decorative artwork, something that you would hang on your wall, or if this is supposed to be like, oh, this, this gets hung up on the side of all the fireplaces, or if you're like at Flu Powder R Us, where they have tons of fireplaces or whatever, you know, they have these disclaimers on here. Remember, speak clearly. I could see this hung up next to someone's fireplace. All right, moving right along. I'm gonna save this big box. Look at this big box, which has like a skull on it. Interesting. All right, we've got a key. Let's take a look at the unlocking magic key, which is gonna be the next key in the Wizarding Trunks magical key line. What's it gonna be? Magical travel. They've already done a Ford Anglia key. I don't think like a steam engine takes a key. It's something dark and spooky. So, Vault 711, this is Bellatrix Lestrange's vault. This is a vault key. Oh man, look at that. The key handle is the skull of a raven. That is really, really cool. What other details are on here? So we've got the numbers 711, so Vault 711, or Bellatrix Lestrange's vault, and then that raven skull on the top, which looks like a raven skull, very ornate raven skull. I love that thing. What's so cool about it is it looks very much like a 3D skull because the inside is hollow where, you know, all the flesh and brain and tissue and everything would have disintegrated. It looks like a hollow skull. This is very cool. Okay, so this represents obviously when the Golden Trio magically travels and goes to the Lestrange vault to find the next Horcrux. This might be one of the most impressive, in my opinion, keys that the Wizarding Trunk has done. That 3D hollow skull is absolutely beautiful. All right, what's next? We have, oh, this is like a passport book. That's fun. We've got a passport book, which is anti-theft technology, and it also has RFID protection technology and fits most passports. So it's not just a passport book, but it's also a wallet. So this is perfect for travel. Look at this stunning faux leather 
passport book. It says international magical travel. We have what looks like a griffin in the center holding a shield with an M on it for the ministry. And then on the inside, this is where you'd put your passport. There are slots for credit cards, SIM cards, and you know, cash or whatever else you want to put inside here. Really, really nice. This is this is beautifully done. Now I want to go on an international magical travel. All right, save in this box. I'm hoping it's something amazing, but let's take a look at the rest of the items here, which are paper products. So we have enchanted threads and tassels, seats up to 12. <laughs> it's like a family magic carpet. Persian carpets, ex-minister carpets, Victorian carpets, the perfect magical family vehicle. This is so much fun. This has to be one of my favorite prints from the Wizarding Trunk. Beautifully designed, whimsical, exciting, no foiling at all, which is okay. I don't think it needs it. This is such a cool print. Nice thick cardstock. This is fun. And then the back, which kind of shows the ink bleeding through a little bit. This is actually printed. It's supposed to look like that. You're not actually seeing the other side of the artwork. It was designed like this to appear as though the ink is bleeding through the paper. So cool. Great print. Oh, we've got another enchanted Enter Magazine, we'll put that aside real quick and take a look at these last two items. So we have the next Magical Creatures A to Z page. The Zaratan, or Zaratan, and the Zuwu. So I will hold these up. If you would like to read about these magical creatures, you can pause the video and take a look. We have some stickers or decals. This is fun because you can either add them to your trunk or you could add them anywhere you would like, like your own suitcase or bag or folder or laptop. Very fun stickers. So let's take a look at the Enchanter, which is for August of 2023. And just like the Magical Creatures A to Z page, I will show all of the different pages so you can pause the video and read them all if you'd like to. You can do the crossword puzzles if you want. So the Enchanter, Portals, Doorways to the Unknown, page eight, Rune Rider, Revolution, page six. The Flighty Controversy of Flying Carpets. These magazines, if you haven't seen these before, these Enchanter magazines, I say it every time I see one, the Wizarding Trunk needs to do like a subscription for these. They're in collaboration with Danny at Wizardry Workshop and just packed with information, beautiful artwork, absolutely beautiful artwork. Like, holy moly cannoli, look at that artwork. I mean, look at that artwork again, just on the front cover itself. So if you have time and haven't seen one of these, definitely pause the video and take a look at these different pages. Here are some of the games. Bottle banter, flying ointment. This is fun, this is a recipe for oatmeal bars, and it looks like all ingredients that you can use as a muggle. So those are edible and makeable. A Lay Wizard's Guide to Translocation. Again, just look at this incredible artwork. There's horoscopes in here. I always love the classifieds and always look for the ghost for hire. Poltergeist seeking work, perfect for guiding witches and wizards through the astral realm. The Wizarding Trunk also puts kind of some sneak peeks or hidden things on these sometimes. So definitely look at these because you'll see like a picture of something and then in the next box or two, that item is in the box. It's just, it's really fun. Then we've got the credits here and the back where you can subscribe for pretend. You can't actually subscribe, but it's really fun that they have this on the back, just like normal magazines. All right, let's pop open this box here. The skull looks like something you'd find in the Amazon. Magical travel in the Amazon. Oh my gosh. I am so glad that we saved this. Shut the front door. This is absolute perfection. It's perfection. It's absolute perfection. It's the shrunken head from the night bus. Holy moly cannoli. Oh my goodness. It is an amazing size. The one that you can purchase from the Wizarding World, I think was smaller than this. That is so good. Everything from the sculpt, the detail, the, the painting, the beads on the dreadlocks, so much fun. So you could either hang this or the neck has a flat surface. So you could just sit it on your shelf like that. And the yarn actually just blends into the dreadlock a little bit. This was quite the way to end this box. 
so fun. Plenty of hair on here. I love the multi-purpose. You can hang it, you can just put it on your shelf. This is also a great decoration for just Halloween. This is gonna be displayed up on the dark arts shelf for sure. Well done. That is the magical travel box. Let's take a look at the spoiler sheet and learn a little bit more about these items. Traveling trunk stickers. Whether you're traveling to school, work, or internationally, these vinyl decals will be perfect for your trunk designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. Carriage Snow Globe. This snow globe contains a curious carriage used to move from one place to another, designed by J.P. Mistlecrow. Clean Sweeps Shop Shirt. This shirt is given out with the purchase of any new broom. Congratulations on your new ride designed by Wizardry Workshop. Magical air fresheners. These air fresheners are made to be used while you travel, and even better, they smell tropical to remind you of the beach with scents of pineapple, coconut, and sea breeze. Okay, so we've got the the scents. So pineapple, oh, that's the one that like I thought was kind of citrusy, which would have been the motorbike. This is gonna be the pineapple. Now this is coconut. This is sea breeze, for sure. This is the, no, this is coconut. This is pineapple, and this is coconut. Pineapple, coconut, sea breeze. Sea breeze is my favorite. Creature page. This page teaches about two creatures that have extraordinary forms of magical travel. This item is a collaboration between the Wizarding Trunk and Wizardry Workshop. Vault key. Who designed this? JP Mistlecrow. Beautiful. Well done. Amazing key. If you're traveling to procure a very rare goblet, you can use this vault key instead of having to change your appearance. That's fun, I like the tie-in to the key. You don't have to use Polyjuice Potion and turn into Bellatrix Lestrange. International Travel Passport Holder. It looks like your international travel has been approved. Place your passport and or any other items you might need inside. These are spelled with RFID blocking technology inside that prevents anyone from snatching your personal information. Threads and tassels. This shop advertisement features a form of magical travel that can be used by the whole family. And that was also designed by Wizardry Workshop. Shrunken head. This shrunken head knows not to speak around the non-magical. The real question is, Will he speak to you? Dun dun dun! Yeah! Take it away, Earn! I tried. Mantle sign. A reminder to always remember to speak clearly. Okay, so this was kind of what I was thinking. It's it's a mantle sign. A good reminder. So we don't end up in diagonally. The Enchanter Magical Travel Edition. This month's edition of The Enchanter is all about magical travel. Designed by Wizardry Workshop and written by a team of talented witches. Bitter Root Bloom. Just getting off your broom or disappearing and reappearing in another location and have an upset stomach, this usable potion slash tea is made with several ingredients that all help with nausea and an upset stomach. And the editor's choice is me and my tea at www.youtube.com slash at me and my tea. And for your chance to be featured in the editor's choice, make sure you use hashtag TWT editor's choice in your posts or unboxings. And there are some fun advertisements on the back here, including the next quarterly theme, which is going to be Wizarding Winter. A really nice box and just a kind of a different take on magical travel. You know, it's not just filled with, oh, we've got to represent the night bus. We've got to represent, you know, the express. We have to represent the Fort Anglia, you know, all that stuff. It was a different take on magical travel, which I really enjoyed. I was expecting just representation of all the different things and different travel. This was really great. So it's like you represent the night bus with a shrunken head, but like this is a really cool representation of the night bus. The passport holder is really nice, well-made, beautifully designed, will be very helpful. The shirt, very, very cool. Can't wait to wear this at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. The key, I mean, this was really clever. I thought you can travel to pick up the Horcrux and you'll have the key. You don't have to actually like, you know, use Polyjuice Potion. Favorites and least favorites. The favorite, I think, is the shrunken head, but I really love the key. 
Um, the shirt is really nice too. The least favorite would probably be the sign. I just feel like this could have been done a little bit better. This may be the first box in a long time that there hasn't been a pin. Interesting. What did you guys think about this box? What were some of your favorites or least favorite items? What did you think about the theme as a whole and how it was represented? I personally thought it was really clever, but I would like to know what you guys think. Oh, love this. So cool. Love this. Um, but I would like to know what you guys think when it comes to how this was put together. I'm curious to see if you guys have the same opinion about how this was curated. If you would like to subscribe to the Wizarding Trunk, check the description down below for a link. And there's also a coupon code there to save you some money. And don't forget, the Keep Collecting Box 3 is coming out mid-November. Once again, spoiler alert if you don't want to see the wand, that box is going to be the only place you can purchase the Dueling Club wand. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Yeah, keep collecting! Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome! We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?